ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is his refuge. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and true sincerity. And Yahweh, which is the Father's name, the true name, and Yahweh Shai, which is the Son's name, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. And that's their name in the Hebrew. But I'm going to make a quick video real quick because, you know, I was thinking about this. Um, You know, videos get striked down for telling the truth. Whole bunch of, you know, folly. But as the scriptures say, folly is set in great dignity in this world. But, you know, you got the little Nas X, the Cardi B's. You got people, like, you got fucking porn. You know what I'm saying? Like, those things can be on the internet. But this truth can't. And this is the main reason, the scripture that I'm reading right here. Because, see, when the white man don't have your mind, it's no use for you. All right? You have shamed the counsel of the poor. What is counsel? That's instruction. And we get our instructions from on high. From Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. So, we change our life to do what he say. Esau don't like that. He's like, damn. I don't got these so-called black people, so-called Latino people, so-called Native American people in my hands no more. They separate themselves from me. Now, a majority of our people, you know, still trust in Egypt, still trust in Pharaoh. As the scripture said, it would be because the counsel of the Lord is always going to stand. But for the ones that decide to change their life for the better. Esau don't want he he wants to kill you. He wants to get away with you. He wants to shut you up. So, you know, I was sitting thinking about this, and it's a beautiful thing to be separated from the world. They say, if thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. And that's what he's doing, you know, to the elect. But to be honest, he he always forsake us because he put us in a position that we sinned against our power. Matter of fact, let's get this. Judith. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people, talking about the Israelites, and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. See, all the heathens over this in this world knows this, all right? So you have to understand, as the scripture said, he know of that he have but a short time. So he's going to try to take as many people as he can. That's why everything that he put in place, laws, things that you're allowed to do, is all sin against the Most High and the Son. Which, as it say, he is the accuser of his brethren. All right? So he cues to us all night and day to our power saying, see, look at them. Look at they doing this. They do that. They don't deserve to be saved. Right? But the Most High knows best. And ultimately, the Lord is the one that control the show. All right? So it say, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. And that's what's coming for the elect. So these heathens is going to be a reproach before the, all the world. Because then, as the scriptures say, then you should know who is my chosen. All right? So right now, majority of the people still look at us like this is some type of fads. Like this is some, like, first of all, 
People have been preaching the truth since since 1969. Actually, a little bit before that, but Abba Bivens was the ones on the forefront. He's the one that was known. They was called the commandment keepers, you know. And then from there, you know, you got uh, High Priest Arya and Yaquab and Masha. And then you got Apostle Tahar. You got Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Raka. All right. And then you got to realize that the ones that's the leader today been preaching for over 35 years. A fad don't last, you know, a trend, you know, a, a wave don't last 35 years plus. And then they put it on the Internet in 2007. And ever since he put it on the Internet in 2007, Yahweh Bashmi I was shy, put the spirit on them to do that. This world been crumbling. All right. Remember, you had the recession in 2008. You know, the economy was bad. And then under um, Obama, you had this like cop killings back to back, all time high record. Israelites was getting it under that Hamite because he's not a so called black person. He's a Hamite for, you, for the people who didn't know. But people thought he was one of us. But, yeah, so, and then, what, Trump came on the scene. He stirred things up. Now, it's um, revolution everywhere, you know, and it's going to be, it's going to come on a, on a wide, wider scale real soon, because that's prophecy. But he got the nation separated. He got the Trumpsters, you know, ready to go on, on, on call, you know, that's going to start the race wars. That's going to start the civil war, you know. So, but to say all that, to say this is that when you turn away from his thought process, when you turn away from his philosophies, you make yourself a prey. All right. In this, these two scriptures right here, which is one of my favorites, is that these heathens know that when we separated from our power, then they can overtake us. And that's why this devil, he put all these laws and, 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 and things that you allow to do with no consequences. Long as you sin in against your power, he continue to reign over you. But as Job 14 and 5 say, he have bounds that he cannot pass. So he think by... You know, he first of all, the pride of his heart have deceived him. The Lord hardened his heart for he for him to believe that he's going to continue forever. You know, so so it say, yeah, truth felleth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Who, what is a prey? Prey is something that get hunts. All right. Now we are the hunted. We are enemy number one. And all we doing is preaching the Bible, talking about righteousness. All right. They just don't like the message because here's the thing. As Paul said in Galatians 4 and 16. Have I became your enemy because I tell you the truth? You goddamn skippy. Yes, we are the enemy because we tell him the truth. We tell him we stand in boldness. Of, of his face that have afflicted us. All right. So imagine telling your oppressor that you're going to go down and you're going to be under us. We're going to be whooping your backs. We're going to be hanging you from trees. All right. We're going to be taking your woman. All right. He don't like that message because he still look at us as a slave. Yeah, we don't have chains. But mentally, he got our mind. See, one thing in slavery, we knew who our enemy was. Now, majority of our people just walking around here lost, thinking that this guy care about you. As I read, if you be for his profit, he will use thee. But soon as he don't need you no more, he will forsake you. And that's what he's doing to the elect. But who cares? All right. So say, yeah, true fell if and he departed from evil, make himself a prey. And Yahweh Bashimi Shai saw it, and it did please him that there was no judgment. All right? Matter of fact, that reminds me of this. Habakkuk. Six and 
So it says, therefore, the law is slacked and judgment do never go forth for the wicked do of compass the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. See, no judgment is in the earth. Righteous judgment. You know, it's a lot of false accusing, wrongful put to deaths. You know, he going to pay for all this putting people in prison that's um that's innocent. All a person got to do is say that a so-called black man did something and then they go find a so-called black man, put the case on him, and then he go to jail and then he gets released 25 years later, want to give him some money. And basically, you say, hush. Yeah, we, we fucked up. I'm going to give you some money. Then give a dude like a, you know, a few hundred thousand or even a million. That ain't shit. Imagine going to jail when you're 19 and then your ass come out when you're 50. Your life is over with. It's nothing. You, 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 the one thing that you can't get back is time. But I'm just using the example. All right. See, at the end of the day, this devil gonna go down. And this, and and this video was inspired because I was sitting back thinking, you know, about um, you know, just the beautiful. That's the wrong one. It's twenty one. Just thinking about, you know, I'm going to read this and I'm going to talk. That a man, that make a man an offender for a word. Now, you got to understand, we're going to be ostracized because of a word, which is the word of the Bible. We're just out there preaching, but they're going to make us enemy number one. Be prepared for that and see, you know how they say that the beginning is to know that is true. You should know that that's about to come down. False accusations. They about to put us in a, in a dark light. The world is going to hate us. The world hated Yahweh Shai. We are not greater than our master. So you have to keep that in mind. So when that shit comes, praise the Lord, man, and, and praise him that you are counted worthy to be hated because remember he said that he chose you out of the world all right so that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reprove him in the gate and that's going to be that false accusation all right that's going to be the snare they're going to try to catch us up in our words and they're going to flip it because they're very good at semantics all right and then they're going to try to make it seem like we're like that we're a terrorist for the words that we speak. But guess what? You're not going to get matter of fact. Ooh, let me let me finish this. I just that, that's the spirit. I haven't read that scripture in a while that just popped in my head and lay a snare of him. Never proving a gate and turn aside the just for a thing of not right now. Cause this what this is what they don't understand. He therefore that despiseth, he therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who have also given unto us His Holy Spirit. So you fighting against us, you really fighting against the Most High, cause we are the Most High's mouthpiece. We are the ambassadors of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. And, you know, so. So I was just sitting and meditating on that, like it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm going to end it right here. Count yourself blessed, man. But now all we got to do is endure to the end. Bless are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my namesake. All right. Count yourself blessed, man. You are blessed. It don't matter. This world can't give you nothing. This world is not for you. We are, as the scriptures say, setting our treasures in heaven. Where it cannot be corrupted or rust. Where it can't be breaking into. All right. We are striving for eternal life while this man is trying to make eternal life with a damn microchip so anyways count yourself blessed man 
All praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash Shalom.